Hi and welcome to part 5 in my uh, videos on adding fur to my mouse using XGen in Maya and rendering with RenderMan RIS. Uh, if you remember in my last video I spent uh, quite a bit of time trying to get uh, uh, something to show up in my window and it was in my elevation uh, brush here. This particular block failed to show and what I had to do is I had to save my file, uh, open it back up, and then uh, refresh my XGen window, and boom, there it is. And the thing I wanted to show you is the goal angle here. Sometimes I raise that up uh, to maybe 50 degrees so that uh, it will rise to 50 degrees but no further. So that's the beauty of this is I can brush and brush and brush and it's not going to do anything except uh, it's just going to keep brushing until all of the hairs are at approximately uh, uh, 30 degrees or 50 degrees or whatever you set it at and that works out pretty well for bringing your, your uh, your hairs back if you've driven them in too far. Okay, that being said, uh, I'm pretty much done with the fur and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take his visibility of this and I'm just going to turn it off so that we don't have to look at it or deal with it and I'm uh, just going to go ahead and at this point I'm going to go up to my description window and I'm going to go create description and I gotta select the geometry first. Now this time I'm not going to worry about islands or anything else. Uh, uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go uh, here and create a description and I'm gonna, still going to use the collection nib the mouse and on this one I'm going to call it uh, nib whiskers G -I -S -K, whiskers and underscore left. Uh, I'm going to use splines this time. I'm not going to go randomly across the surface. I'm going to go at points that I specify and I'm going to do it by placing and shaping guides and then I'm just going to hit create. Now I don't have anything showing right at the moment uh, but what I have to do now is just uh, if I go to my now if you notice I don't have a grooming tab with this description because that's only available for uh, the fur uh, so at this point I'm going to specify points using splines and guides and uh, I'm going to leave the length and everything else just exactly where it's at uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click specify points and this window is going to open up and I'm going to come over to his left side here right at his cheek here and I'm going to add a guide here and well no I'm kinda forgetting something here well maybe I'm not let me and save and close and you see nothing showed up and that's because I haven't placed any guides first thing I'm going to have to do here is add or move guides click this little thing up here and I'm going to add one right here there we go and then one right here now those look a little on the weird side uh, they're definitely not a, what I want so let's go ahead and oh, we're going to go ahead and taper those and we're going to change the width to something like that and then the length 
okay, now I can specify points. Oh, my points are already in there. I've already added my points. I just didn't have the guides in there. Uh, my width, I'm going to go ahead and maybe make them just a little coarser. And the length can definitely be longer. So let's go ahead and make them about something like that. I think that'll work. Oh, uh, no, in fact, that's way too long. Let's go length of 1.5. I think that'll work. All right. And my taper, let's change that to 0.8. And I'll go with that. All right. Now all i got to do is select that one guide there and go to my control points and I'm going to grab these control points right there and let's go ahead and take my move tool and let's kind of just move these here and we can update as we go uh, that's bringing it back a little bit let's go ahead and grab these two here and let me move that back Maybe grab this, whoops, grab, I hate it when that happens, object mode, um, grab this here, control points, grab this one, and I'm going to pull it back about like yay, and update, and uh, maybe just kind of move that up a little bit there. This back one here, I'm just going to kind of leave that one alone. Well, no, I think what I'll do with the back one is add, uh, let me see, I'm going to take this control point here, and I'm just going to kind of pull that forward a little bit and update. Just add a little character to that one, maybe a little bit like that, and... But you can see I can change how these guides react. I can also come in here and go back to object mode, grab this one here, and just rotate it a little bit. And you see how that updates everything. So there's two ways you can do it with the control points or just by literally moving this by moving the control points in there that uh, allows you to add shape and by just physically moving the whole uh, guide that works to just change the complete orientation so I think I'll move that one back just a little bit and uh, I think I'm gonna deal with that just like that now the only other thing I have to do is go back into my Oops, go into my X-Gen here. Uh, I don't want to view these splines or these guides anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this. That'll remove the visibility of that so I don't have to look at it. Now I come over to my uh, preview output and change my render to render man. And Let's go ahead and add another Martian or hair. And then we'll open up that. And the diffuse color, let's go ahead and choose not totally black, but the one right next to it. And the specular color, I will go here. And under primary specular color, I'll go right about to there. And I think that'll work. Let's go ahead and hit file and save. Continue. And let's do a quick render, see how that looks.
It's doing a little more calculation now, so it's going to take just a little bit longer. But it's starting to come through here. And you can see I have whiskers. Now I can make those whiskers a little thicker to make them stand out a little bit more. But quite frankly, I think uh, that's going to kind of work for me right now. So let's go ahead and stop this render. And I'm going to kind of remember the settings here. Let's go back to my XGen window. And uh, I think the one thing I want to do is call this shading group uh, nib whiskers w h i s k whiskers uh, underscore s g and I will call this nib whiskers and matte and that should work. All right, uh, let's go back to XGen here. And it works best if you do one side and then the other, but I'll do that off video. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, eyebrows real quick. And I'm going to follow the same thing. I'm going to go to description. Whoops, I got a error. I'm going to go to descriptions, create a description, and this will be nib eyebrows and left. And again, it's going to be splines uh, at points I specify and placing and shaping the guides. And I'm going to go create. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a guide. And so I'm going to go ahead and add a guide here. And I'm going to shrink my brush down here. And add a guide right. Let's add a guide right about there and right here. There we go. And let's go ahead and add now we'll go ahead and specify the points. Got my point tool and let's go B to shrink that. Well it's not going to let me shrink the brush down so So let's go ahead and add a point here, 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 here. There we go. And uh, what I need to do now is just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and taper that down quite a bit to 0.9. Oh, let me see. Control Z. Let's undo something. I'm going to clear it. There we go. I ended up I don't need a tremendous amount. There we go. Um and I'm going to save and close. There we go. Now it's just a matter of uh, tapering, what did I say, about 0.9 or 0.8 should work. And these definitely don't need to be as long as they are, so let's go ahead and uh, drop the length way down. Maybe something about like yay, and the width. We'll take that way down to, let's say, point 
one, no, point oh one, I think, point oh one, and that should work. Uh, we can add a little character to this. Uh, actually, I think we could use a couple more here. Oh, there's one stuck behind there. That's why I didn't see it. Let's uh, turn those off so I can see it. Yeah. I think if we do anything here, let's go ahead and... bring these back. I think what I want to do is go into control points here and See control Z. Wonder if I do this. Go back into object mode here, grab this here, uh, turn that widget off. Control shapes and guides. I'm gonna grab this point, this point, and this point, and then kind of getting a dead on look like that. Turn this on and maybe rotate that just a little bit. Um, at that point and this point. And let's rotate that a little bit. And let's do a update. Yeah, that's working. Let's do the same thing on this side here. We'll grab this and grab this one here. Oh, you gotta grab two. Turn the widget off. Grab this one and this one. And rotate that a little bit. Then maybe just grab this one, grab the move tool, and just pull that straight back about like yay. And do another preview. And boom, I've got cute little eyebrows. I can turn that visibility off now, and I think that's going to work for me. That's just about the right length. So let's go ahead and bring back Oh, let's go over to the attribute editor. Let's go over to here. Let's go to modifiers. And uh, no, there we go. Let's change this to the. I think it's that one there. Yep. Let's uh, grab this here. Nib. Whiskers. W-H-I-S-K. Whiskers. Underscore. S-G. There we go. Make sure everything's named so I can find it easier. And that should take care of that. Uh, the final thing I need to do here, besides putting everything on the other side, is to go ahead and add eyebrows or eyelashes. And I'm going to do that in the next video using exactly the same method.